Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, C will connect to a MySQL database to query data. This is brought to you from the ojamboshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. So let's begin. So the first thing you, you need to do, I'm on Fedora 40, so you need to install the MySQL connector. I use MariaDB, so I'll just install the MariaDB connector C develop. That's all I need to, to install. I've already installed it. You can do it for your own distro or with your own different uh, operating system like a Mac or Windows. Okay, so let me show you what database we'll be connecting to next. So this is the table structure that we'll be connecting to. It's The table is called students. It has an SID, which is an integer, name, which is a text, and age, which is also an integer. It only has three, at the length is three, because uh, human, the age, will not be more than three uh, characters. And we can go and see this um, data here. We have John, Jane, and Darcy. Darcy has an apostrophe. We use that for the SQL injection test. So let's now go jump to the code. So data will be created using the MySQL connector and Guinea will be used as the IDE. Now jumboshop.com learning Python course inspired this tutorial. So really simple, the first thing we need to do is we need to include the usual C and then the usual libraries and then we need to include the MySQL library as well on my Linux system it will be MySQL and MySQL so that's it that's all we need to include the libraries You can also download the library from the from the Oracle from Oracle directly. Just make sure you get the latest version. And for this function, we exit on failure. We'll connect. So it's localhost. The database username is tutorial. The password, the database user password, and the database name.
Okay, then finally, assuming everything is okay now, we get the result. Oops, looks like I made a mistake. I'll fix that second. Okay, so go back here. So when I, this is, uh, this is actually wrong. I need to make an, okay, so if we go to the database, the, this should be db connection connection error then we need to do our mysql query which will be select SID name age from students Maybe a query failure. And return. Okay, now we put the result in here. Then we get the num fields, the number of fields returned. Then we get the rows, we make a variable for the rows, and then we just use a while loop. And then we fetch each row. Just use a for loop. And we just print out. Okay, then we're, now that we're done, we just free the result so we can get back our memory. Then we close the connection, free up even more memory. And we just return success. See, let's compile, see we didn't make any mistakes. Okay, we made some mistakes here on line nine.
No, this is supposed to be spell that wrong. Let's compile again. On line thirty-nine. Oh, again, I made the same mistake, the same line. Okay, hopefully it's okay now. Yeah, no problems. Now we can, you can also build here, but normally you have to build on the command line because we need to make sure the MySQL uh, library. So I'll, I'll just do that on the command line. Okay, then I can execute this, and you can see the result was John, Jane, and Darcy. Now, the reason why it's not on a separate line is we can simply just go back to the code here, and that's because I did not put a... I should have, right after here, I forgot to put print so we can compile this again there you go now it's on a separate line now next we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to change this so that we c for the SQL injection all right, so we need to create some variables. So we create a char from another one. And one for the query. Make sure it's big enough. Printf. And remember Darcy. Then we can MySQL escape. String to from string length from so it's going to be select SID name age from students where name equals and then here we'll just put the query variable so that's the only change everything else stays the same let me compile this okay there's some errors let's see what I did wrong here What line number? Oh, because the from... Oh, because I, I have to, the string length here, I have to include the string here. So I have to put another include. There we go. Now it should be fine. Yeah, and now it's okay. Now I'll go back to the command line and compile this because I need to include the MySQL uh, string. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, the MySQL header. And we can run this. And you see, we were able to get Darcy, SID3 and the 35. 
Okay, so you can get the full article of jumbo.com slash c hyphen database hyphen mysql hyphen select hyphen statement. All the code is here, examples, how to install the mysql driver, the code snippet, and how to compile it, some screenshots, this video, and of course if you want to learn uh, programming, there's a learning Python course at ojumboshop.com just ojumboshop.com slash learning hyphen python you can of course use the promo code school for 20% off until the end of 2020 if you also want to learn PHP, it's the same concept, you go to ojumboshop.com slash learning hyphen PHP. You can also get 20% off until the end of 2024 using the promo code SCHOOL school. If you prefer to learn from ebooks, you can pick up the ebooks at Amazon. This is the learning Python ebook. And if you have a Kindle Unlimited for a limited time, you can get it for free. And if you have uh, also a Kindle or others, you can also get the learning PHP right now at Amazon. And finally, if you want one-on-one -on -one tutorials, you can visit jumboservices.com. If you want to learn programming, any software, or if you want someone to help you create an app, it could be a web app or it could be a desktop app, or a mobile app for its multi-platform Linux, Android, iPhone, Macs, uh, Windows, it's all there and or if you want someone to help you with a website maybe for example today we did learn about databases maybe you want to migrate if you have problems with DNS, email or just general website design or back-end stuff P uh, maybe you want e-commerce uh, you could even have platforms such as WordPress, WooCommerce, Zencart, Shopify. We can help you with that as well. Thank you.